For him, that's Stephen Wallace. He gets around him, clears him cleanly. Coming out of turn four. And Kyle Busch can put another notch on the victory's podium as he's going to take the win with Reed Sorensen second. Oh, yeah. Kyle Busch third. Thank you, man. Thank See you a big race you. right here between Stephen Lighton and Michael Annette. Looks like Stephen Light got him at the line for the sixth spot. Yes, he did. There you see uh, Justin Allgaier ends up 11th. Yeah, it's my Tony Reigns. So we might as well tear it down here. Tony so Reigns, the last car down, on but. the lead lap, came in 12th. But the win to Kyle Busch. Let's check in with Mike. And catching up with the winning crew chief, Jason Ratcliffe. During the race, you came over the radio and told Kyle, let's stick to our plan. What was that plan? Well, our strategy there, uh, the midpoint of the race was just try to do it on one more stop, fuel, keep our track position. And it was playing out good. I mean, uh, we stayed out, the 60 stayed with us. Had a couple other guys that, was, that were on our strategy. And uh, then when the caution came out, 24, uh, 24, 25 to go, that just, you know, blew that out the window. So guys did a great job on pit road. Man, our New Balance Toyota, man, we're glad to have New Balance on with us this week. Glad to take them to victory lane. And uh, two tires, did it, man, did it. It's all about track position. Kyle Busch, awesome job, man. We just, uh, we got to thank God for all these opportunities. Just, we're just blessed beyond measure. And uh, it's more than a blessing. It's very impressive, Marty. Seven consecutive finishes with no worse finish than second. And yet another victory for Kyle Busch. As he does the burnout and the donuts, he's now won on 17 different tracks in the Nationwide Series. He ties Jeff Burton for fourth on the all-time win list with his 27th win in the series. We'll talk to him. Well, the race has just ended. The fans, the celebration, and yeah, there's those that cheer and those that boo him. But you got to acknowledge he can drive a race car. And while he uh, celebrated, Jamie has caught up with Reed Sorensen. Well, he started second, finished second. Not bad for the first time in the car in over a year. Now, Reed, your overall impressions they're running behind the 18. Well, I'll tell you, I can't catch him. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of what you've been. See I've been seeing for the past year, not racing. Just every weekend, you watch the 18 or 20 drive away. And um, that last run there, I did all I could. And, and the Dollar General guys did a great job all night with pit stops. And the car was good. I mean, I, I don't really know what else to say about it. It was a little bit loose. And the car was good, and I just couldn't catch them. And um, but these motors like they are, I mean, you just got to be able to roll, I guess, a little bit faster through the center, and that's where they're beating everybody. And um, I had fun tonight, and uh, thank all the fans for coming out. It was a fun night, and I, I'm glad I came and didn't uh, enjoy the off weekend doing something else. So didn't get the win, but still had a good time. Hey, great job, fought back. You guys had damage two times tonight. Great effort for the 32. And it was a good run for uh, that team. As you can see, Kyle has uh, made his way towards victory lane, and he's climbing out of the car. You know, there's an old saying that uh, NASCAR loves a first-time winner, and uh, I'll even take a first-time winner at a track for a driver. Kyle, what's it mean for you to finally win here at Gateway? That's pretty cool. You know, it, uh, it goes back to this team. You know, they gave me a great car all weekend long. We, we, we fought a little bit in practice. We weren't sure what we had, but on the long run, man, I think it was really, really good. I want to thank the fans out here in St. Louis and... Uh, you know, especially New Balance, their first race on the car. You know, that's pretty awesome to get them to victory lane. So, real proud of that. Z-Line, NOS, Energy Drink, uh, Toyota, DirecTV, Marquee Jet, and, uh, and Gillette, of course, too. Kyle, I don't want to play too much into the karma thing here, but uh, you did something nice for your crew this week with a certain uh, victory lane trophy that was uh, cut up into pieces with good reason. You think maybe that helped you this weekend? I don't know, but, um, yeah, we did uh, the guitar. You know, we, we ended up cutting it up. All the guys got a piece of the trophy, and so they were pretty ecstatic about that. They were excited. So, um, you know, it was, a, it was a lot of fun to come out here to St. Louis, though, and to race tonight, and especially for New Balance, Toyota, all these guys. Phenomenal race car. We didn't qualify as well as we wanted to, but, um, you know, we went, made it up there at the end of the race. And through the race, I felt like Harvick was really, really good. We kind of had to fight with him a little bit. We were saving fuel there riding behind him and uh, wasn't sure what was going to happen. Then he ran out, and then uh, a couple laps later, we had a caution. So the race just sort of fell towards us there. 
It was a great race. Kyle got to do a burnout, and that's big because you don't get to do that at every race anymore. Mike? And Carl Edwards was hoping to put on a big show for his own hometown crowd here in St. Louis. Didn't uh, work out for you. Restarted yeah. sixth, ended up third, just a little bit short. How would you describe the way those final laps played out for you? Boy, I, I don't even, I don't know how to describe it other than, you know, just say that uh, I, I thought, man, I, I need a caution. I want a green-white checkered real bad because I, I knew I'd start on the inside. We had four tires, uh, you know, four fresh good years, and I could run a little faster than uh, than Kyle and Reed, but I, I just, I, I needed a restart. I had too much space, so I got to thank Save a lot, Scotts, Ford Motor Company, and especially all these fans here. This, uh, to me, to come to come to this track and. Uh, and race here, it's a lot like Kansas Speedway for me. It's uh, it's so cool to see so many people that, that mean a lot to me, and I just wish I could have won the thing for him. And he did it twice, but it just wasn't meant to be tonight, Marty. And uh, we should point out, Toyota picks up a first tonight. Uh, so did Kyle. Toyota gets its first win here in the Nationwide Series at Gateway International.